Hello and welcome to the Eileen Silverman Show. I'm your host Eileen and on this week's program we welcome our guests from the University Women's Club as they celebrate their 100 year anniversary, share many memories and outstanding accomplishments as they look back on 100 years of service to the university community. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us for our program. I'm delighted to introduce my guests, Beverly Bartlett and Joan Van Rensfeld, both members of the University Women's Club. And it's wonderful to have you both here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Oh, Joan and Beverly, I appreciate this opportunity as University Women's Club is celebrating their 100th year anniversary, quite significant. And both of you have held offices in the club for many years. I know Beverly, you're treasurer. Joan, you are working with the scholarship committee. You've done many things. I just applaud both of you and all of your members. 100 years is, is quite an achievement. <laughs> and so to get us started, Beverly, can you take us back 100 years and help us start uh, understanding the beginning yes. of University uh, Women's Club. President Murphy was president of the University of Florida at that time, and he th came up with the idea that there should be this uh, women's group. Originally, we were called the Danes, and then that name was changed in 1927 to the University Women's Club. But there were 67 uh, uh, inaugural members of the club, and they went on. They had three main functions that they did each year. They had a welcoming tea for new faculty members. They had a, a an event for the husbands right. once a year. And then in the springtime, they would have a Vespers uh, reception for the graduating seniors. So that, already, uh, you know, they started yeah. off with a, with a vengeance, with a lot of different yeah. things happening yeah. for yeah. such a, a small group yes. going Yes, the back. idea was to have fellowship, but also to do something for the student community as well. Right, yeah. and which you carried forward all oh, these years. years. Mm -hmm. um, with the same mission yes, to do so, yes, of course, expanding yes. it to many more things. And one of the things I really found interesting was the timeline of the University Women's Club and how it runs parallel to the um, University of Florida itself and to what was happening in the nation and the world mm -hmm. because you sort of have expressed that as the club has emerged through its 100-year history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to remember it was an all-male. I know. Uh, uh, Take student, us to student, this. Student I mean, body. we got to understand. Women, 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 understand were, this. women were allowed to come and have uh, courses mm -hmm. in the summer. Right, but, but that was it. You no. didn't have a graduate of the university of, 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 for there. Right. Uh, so the women that were on the campus were the librarian, right. the, the leader of the uh, Glee Club. Yeah, uh, that's that's about it. The first uh, woman faculty member, I believe, was in. Uh, 27 or something was an assistant professor in chemistry. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so there weren't. I mean, yeah. considering yeah. that women, the school didn't really, university didn't yeah. go co-ed yeah. to like what? After World War or, II. After World, World War II, II. so yeah. that's pretty significant. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a great opportunity, right, Joan, that women who come here with their husbands as faculty have a way to, to know each other, yeah. to yeah. connect. Yeah. To, yes. yeah, to connect with, well, at the, the when you start, you're not friends, but you make friends right, easier right, right. because the husbands have this kind of the same jobs. Right. And so, so you have that in common. It, we have that in common. And so. But but then you have, I mean, your dues. This is a, it, 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 quite a, okay, so how did they start? Then originally, World War II, they changed. Originally, it was $2 mm -hmm. a year, yes. and then during the uh, World War II years, cut it back. they were $1, and then they added it to 2 and it gradually worked its way up for 3 4 8 and at the currently, it's uh, right. twenty dollars a year, which still so, is yeah, it's nominal, pretty good very deal. nominal. I mean, yes. it's nominal. Yeah. I yeah. agree. Yeah. I agree. Now, at a high point, how many members might you have had at the? 
800, I mean, 830 in about 1967, right. 65, right. all through the 60s and the 70s, we had was, over 700 members at, at, at the that time. That was quite a yeah, significant yeah. time. Yeah, it grew from that 67 and all right. up to there and then unfortunately it's come back down. <laughs> no, but, but that's, yeah. um, that's happening in yeah. many organizations, organizations as yeah. women's yeah. roles in life and even the pandemic has yeah. had an effect. Yeah. Uh, you see that in in many other you know service clubs. Yeah. So yeah, we learned to zoom along with everybody. Else. Oh, I know. I understand. I understand. Yeah. And we but, did. And, <laughs> and yes, you have kept it going yeah. in order to be here together to celebrate a hundred yeah. years. You yeah. are having a celebration, yeah. and. And I think it's significant. And we have much more to discuss. We're going to take just a quick break. Okay. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're back talking about the University Women's Club 100th anniversary. And Beverly and Joan, still quite an accomplishment. <laughs> You've given us a sense of the history. So share with us, how do members participate? Uh, we offer several events that are open to the whole club every year. We kick the year off with an open house at the president's home, oh, hosted like by it. the first lady. Yes. And then we have, well, we had for years we had luncheons. Then we switched to tea and timely topics, which similar things. Six o'clock scholars offered opportunities for husbands to attend as well. It was a, a, a buffet dinner uh, catered right, and with nice. a, a speaker from somewhere on the university that was... Um, and coaches. And oh, coaches. yeah, coaches. Yeah, you the, said you yeah, talked the, about the, sports. Yes, yeah. Certainly a, a, a topic for yeah. UF. Yes. And then, of course, the big event in the spring was the scholarship uh, event oh, uh, yes. to award the scholarships and election and installation of the new oh. officers. But on the other hand, lots our members had lots of Special interest, interest. interest. Yes, actually, so. when I was reading about everything, I've not. It, it, I mean, you have a lot of special interest groups. Yes, I applaud yeah. you. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> we do. okay. Well, Tell well, us about some of them. I well, mean, they're, for, they were all for great. instance, okay. uh, Joan, Joan. Joan came from Belgium, so right. you were in French discussion. Yeah, we we we, we had a French group. Oh uh, yes, yeah. uh, not too long ago. Yeah. That one is gone, but, but yes, we had a French group. French, Spanish, uh, German. Right. Yeah. We had yeah. also the uh, and that's the and book. Oh, oh book, gosh, book discussion was one first. Of the you, you were very years. inclusive, yeah. bringing in languages and helping everybody communicate, yeah. which yeah. I could clearly see. Yeah. And then and then uh, the intellectual opportunities, opportunities of your book club. Book discussions, mind benders was a, a speakers right. forum kind of thing. Um, and then you'd even, what, what was it, one person would end up with, oh, the book exchange. Yes, yes. Okay. Then we had, we had also the Bridge Club. And oh, yes. while I was treasurer, I loved them <laughs> because they made a lot of money yes. and gave all the winnings to the club. Oh, to and use for scholarships. And so for I could put it in the scholarship. Yes. Right. So I was that very was, yes. that But we did fun things too. We had uh, mahjong, Mexican trained dominoes, uh, different things. We had sports things, tennis, bowling, golf. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, lots of, ball, lots of, right, lots exercise, of trips. Yes, lots we had day, 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 trips. Would do day trips. We traveled out to art museums yes. and uh, lunch. Lunch. We, oh, we're all lunch. we're big on food. Gourmet yeah, club well, has been for years. <laughs> lunch well, that's when you have we conversation. Yes, 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 that's when everybody yes, bonds. Yes, you know, yes, over yes, food. Is, but, that's what makes yes, it an, an important yes. part of people's we lives. We even participated in the homecoming parade a couple of years. Oh, yes. this is yeah. great. Wait yeah. a minute, fashion shows. Oh, fashion shows. We have my family. Oh, yes, yes, yes and my family store here, Silverman's for men and women. Yes, and my store, Eileen's for fashion. Back then, we did. Yes, we were part of it. Those were fun. Fundraisers. Uh, yes. yes, one year was extremely interesting. It was the 70th anniversary. We covered every decade for the fashions, and I remember because I was in the 40s. And <laughs> I went to the hairdresser, and she did a hair piece, and I had this dress on. And <laughs> good. I, I like you. You, you all had lots have, of activity. Everybody. Yeah, you have good energy. Yes. Yes. I can see that. And for a number of years, we had uh, we could get flowers from the greenhouse. Yes. On the university, we did our own flower Probably. arranging for. Uh, the luncheons oh, and, and, and events. Oh, wonderful. Yes, yes. And you've been in different, you know, homes around campus. Yes. Also, mm -hmm. when you talk about the flowers yes. and events, mm -hmm. and you've... Um, well, we had to for a while when we changed from our little house yes. to the new club. 
Right. So mm -hmm. we had no place to go because one was demolished and the other one wasn't built yet. Yeah. Right. So uh, you were kind of floating. Yeah. Oh yes, we <laughs> were floating. <laughs> Whoever wanted to have us, here we were. But but it, but uh, but you persevered. But but the club offered an opportunity when you arrived here as a new faculty wife. You could join the newcomers. They That's had their right. own set of activities. It was a way to participate. Our our interest groups provided you the opportunity to meet people from other departments, other colleges right. across campus. So you could get to uh, really yes, understand yes. the whole and you, range and, of UF and, and some and of your best there. friends you have are the people you yes. met when you were first in right. University yes. Women's Club. And there were other, the newcomers, then yeah. you had uh, a seniors, no, the yeah. Mother's Club. The Mother's, mother's Club, yes. yeah. For so the, the, the mothers the, of the faculty. Exactly, yes. Yes. and then one over the Old Timers Club. Old, or old Timers, yes. if you'd been group. here 25 years, and then they merged into the seniors group okay. in, over the last... 10, 15 years. But yeah. that gave everybody all your membership yes. an opportunity, opportunity to have the Whatever right your place to, were, to intermingle and to, could... to connect. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I mean, I'd say that has been a strong reason why you have been successful for 100 I years. So. Yeah. Yes, and we still have more to discuss. Yes. We'll take another quick break. Yeah. Stay with us. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're back talking about the University Women's Club, and I'm pleased to introduce Betsy Trent, first vice president. And Betsy, thanks for joining us, and, and Joan. Um, to you. talk more, certainly, we're learning so much about the University Women's Club and your, your great 100-year history. One of the things you're most proud of, certainly, is your scholarships. Yes. And uh, the long history of such. So tell us how that all began and uh, help us appreciate what you've accomplished in these many years. Well, I wasn't involved until just recently about the university. So right. the, the members before me tell a lot about the stories of the fundraising that they did and the efforts for door to door solicitation almost, to or at get least the certainly money for with the faculty to right. get Garage the scholarships. Sales. Yes. And they're very proud of that. Joan, tell us Garage more about sales. Right. Garage sales. Right. Garage sales and begging whomever we knew. We would, at the end, really begging. We wanted that money as fast and as soon as we could get it. And uh, we started with giving $100 scholarships okay. in those times. So I'm happy that now we can do much more. Right, but at that point, it, it was it meaningful. Was, yeah, 1950s. That, that right. was it. That's I wasn't there yet. No, I know. You joined what, mid-60s? In 65. Yeah, 65. So, right. uh, and didn't start directly working on the scholarships, but then a few years later. Well, uh, then enlighten us to how did you determine who would receive the scholarships or... Okay, we asked that to the student affairs okay. to help us. Uh, one of the deans, uh, sometimes we had to push them a little bit, right. would help us. And uh, we would uh, ask the students to apply who wanted the scholarship. They were undergraduate students. Okay, started with undergraduates, the, the right. The undergraduate students. The money was now in the foundation. So uh, we had to deal with them. And then the student applied. And we were a group of four ladies, so five sometimes, right. who decided we would have the, all their papers. And make the decision. And we would make the decision. decision. That right. was sometimes hard, but as we gave around 20 scholarships of uh, $1,000, one or two years we had $1,500 because the stock market was that good. So we could do you that. You could do more. We could do more, yes. and I didn't want the money to stay in the foundation and give it to the students, so we That's could do purpose. that. And, uh, and then you had different, like Stephen O'Connell, Stephen so C. O'Connell, he did one. Uh, when we went to ask for money to Stephen O'Connor, he said, I'm going to sweeten the pot. And he gave us, I don't exactly remember, it was something in those times, $10,000. So, and to make a scholarship for students with disabilities. Right. And of course, he, but he wanted on a special fund in our scholarships, not in the big scholarship right, fund. Right, but a, a separate And that fund. one is growing by itself, so now we are already giving two scholarships for those students. So, so people had um, 
in, you know, were able to give their input for things that mattered a great deal to them. Mm -hmm. And it's still going on. And, and what about the first ladies that were, you know, the first ladies of the university, their involvement? As we dealt with, of course, the presidents, the, the first ladies became um, actually the names of the scholarships. So, okay. um, as particularly as they made donations and helped to support the program, uh, the scholarships were then put in the first ladies' names. So, what a great uh, honor. we awarded. Uh, to the students, you know, the certain scholarships in the name of the First Ladies. The one thing about the applications and, and how serious the committee uh, was in reviewing the applications, it wasn't right. just a fill-in-the-blank type of form. Um, it was quite arduous of, of themes to talk about the, uh, their depth. research and how the money, even though a hundred dollars or as it grew to a thousand dollars, it's still not that much, uh, how that would impact their research if they became a recipient of, of the scholarship. So it was a very important thing that we took very seriously and the students did too. Right. And we and that made it even more worthwhile, more of an honor. Right. But, but for us it was nice to be with those I call them children. No, the students. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, they were the fantastic. No, they were kids. I, I, <laughs> I, I love them. So we had lunch and we were sitting then with those students and to listen to them, their parents, uh, uh, one parent or now two parents were invited to. Right. And then you had the joy to also see the parents so proud. Of what they were it, it, achieving, it, it, you have no and what idea how. Were doing. For us, that was for me. That was the most important part. Well, that and that is Joan. Probably why you have stayed a part of the scholarship committee so. all these years. I guess so. Yes, yes, yes. I can see, and <laughs> it is something to be proud of. And there's still more to discuss. We'll take another quick break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're back talking about the University Women's Club and their 100th anniversary. And Beverly, thanks for rejoining us. And Betsy, congratulations again on such a wonderful milestone. And here, as you are celebrating your 100th anniversary, you have made the decision not to continue the club. Um, That's right. And I'm, I'm sure that, was, that has taken many heartfelt conversations. But it certainly has, but I think it was the decisions just as the lifestyle, lifestyles have changed for yes. so many people and even the primary need and service of the university, women's club, um, not as necessary as it was as back it was. Uh, many, many years ago. Uh, but it has certainly been uh, very um, enjoyable talking to the many members that are still involved as they have RSVP'd our events that we had in October to celebrate right. our, our end. And they talked about how they were involved in the University Women's Club and how important uh, the, the service of the club had been to them at the time and it served just a, a very special moment in their lives. And so and, and just looking through uh, all of the history books and newsletters. I know you've been working on the, the, you know, gathering so much material, the archives, and that in of itself gives you such an appreciation, just as you have mentioned the, the members. And I loved being a part of the celebration. I truly thank you for that. And it has helped me understand your many achievements. Right. We're very proud that we are, are really creating a legacy, you that we haven't indeed. just been there for a hundred years and we're going away. We truly You're leaving are something leaving behind. a some great history much. behind. Yeah. A lot. Yes. Yes. yes, talk about yes. the scholarships the, that the will continue. scholarship program is fully endowed, so we'll continue yeah, with five five thousand dollar scholarships. Uh, a historical marker will be erected in front of the clubhouse. Yes. Uh, so our, our it, plan. a permanent recognition a permanent well deserved. That we were here. Yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, then uh, also the Smathers Library has taken all of our scrapbooks, yearbooks, all those newsletters, photos, everything. Uh, uh, other uh, the gavel, all kind of other things. Yes, memorabilia, and it'll be archived over there. 
And then finally, we have a committee of several people who are putting together a hundredth uh, anniversary booklet. So yes. it's given us an opportunity to look back through uh, the many interesting things that, that have happened. That have happened. And uh, one that we came across uh, when it was the 75th anniversary right. of the I club. Right, I love knowing this. It Tell was, uh, <laughs> uh, the, they decided they would go and look for the oldest <laughs> living member still yes. around. And Bertie May Carroll, who arrived in the At 20s, uh, uh, late 20s, yeah. early 30s, yeah. was a resident out at, at the villages. And she remembers arriving in Gainesville on the train from Jacksonville. And uh, other things, how the, before the O'Connell Center was built, there was rodeos held in the parking lot and things. Uh, right. But uh, uh, that, that, That's true. Yeah, I remember, that, I, I talk about a, a point of view. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And that also kicked off your graduate scholarship? Yes, because by then the, the uh, undergraduate scholarship program had been become fully endowed. So we then, it was a cash opportunity for the members donated each year. Right. But we were able to give five $1,000 scholarships to graduate students. Uh, oh, so that, uh, that's we significant. Could, yes, it is, to a graduate student. I know, I remember, I was one once. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it but means but a lot. also, Betsy uh, was in charge of our uh, 100th gala. So she yes, helped well organize the big. We wanted to go out with a bag. So no, I, I know. know. Good right. food, dancing. Dancing. To mm -hmm. the swing decorations, band, yes. decorations. And just Lots a wonderful of opportunity yeah. for. Um, we received a lot of RSVPs from, from members that had not been involved for one reason or right. or the right. other for the last couple of years, and and they've come to the event and and talked to us about their involvement. It's been really nice hearing from them and them seeing the activities again, and and I think everyone will enjoy the yearbooks yeah. Yeah. and oh, being able to uh, to reminisce again their activities and how they were involved d during those times. Yes, yes I. It, it's so, thank you, Betsy, so well said. And the yearbook that you have all put to, so lovingly or putting together, it has given everybody the, it's bittersweet, yes. but you're going out in a way right. where you can all sit back, appreciate your 100 year mm -hmm. anniversary and achievements and know that you are leaving mm -hmm. a lasting mm -hmm. legacy. Right. And I think that is, uh, a wonderful, you deserve a round of applause. Well, thank you. And thank you for having us, Eileen. It's been oh, wonderful it has to been be my here. pleasure, and I'm just so delighted that I've been able to really understand and appreciate the University yeah. Women's Club at this special time. Yeah. Happy 100th yeah. anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you to much. all your club members and to Joan for being our guest, yes. also, uh, along with Beverly and Betsy. Yes. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you tuned in, and I hope you will join us next time. Thanks. Take care. <laughs>